This is Ryan Knows Tech with TechInformed.us, and welcome to today's video from Thursday, July 14th, 2011. We're going to be taking a look at an application that uh, actually came in a video request to me a couple weeks ago. Kind of put it off because that would mean I had to dig into my wallet, but I finally did go for it. It's known as Clean My Mac. Clean My Mac is something that uh, they really need on the PC, but there is Clean My PC as well. It really takes all of those cache files, the maintenance files, all of the crap that you don't really need on the computer that really just slows it down and it gets rid of that to make it a little bit lightweight, a little cleaner and definitely a little faster. I'm usually pretty, pretty hesitant of stuff like this. I know I did use CCleaner on the PC and I would run that every week or so and I'd pull a couple gigs of cache files out and uh, it did improve things but this is definitely a better version of that it's got 50 plus features I can't go through every single one of those it's got a crap ton of nice reviews here from Macworld Mac and then um, all these different websites down here even Macworld UK gave it four and a half and five stars from those two sources um, and a lot of people have it it uh, does cost a few dollars I'll see if I can find the uh, about the buy page here Looks like they've got a few different applications here. This is from MacPaw. They've got Clean My Mac and Soul Mac Hider and uh, Clean My PC if you wanted to do the same thing on your Windows machine. Uh, you've got a license here for six months. It's about $15 or for just twice that you can get it for lifetime. That's actually what I did. I just paid the 30 bucks through credit card. Really simple install process. You click buy, you throw your credit card number in, then they send you a download link if you haven't already downloaded it. Uh, as well as your invoice and then the third email is your actual activation key when you open up the software I've got it running down here in my dock of course we'll be taking a look at it in a second um, it will not let you actually clean it you can scan it once you click clean it wants the activation key so just copy and paste it in from your email hit uh, send or verify whatever and you're done and it's gonna be good for your life you can get a double pack put it on two Macs or a family pack that uh, is five. The full price is 150. It looks like you're going to be saving 75 bucks. So now may be a good time to do that. You can get a bundle, two license, one for Mac, one for PC, for for an extra ten dollars uh, over the the uh, year clean my Mac license. So they've got tons of nice deals here. It's going to work on uh, Snow Leopard, Leopard, and it looks like that would be the Tiger icon there. And uh, of course, this is the Mac one. There's the PC one. I'm going to say those prices are uh, the same. You don't have a six month license with the PC. You can only do the, the lifetime license. Uh, enough with their website here. We'll go ahead and take a look at the actual application and see what it looks like. Here it is. This is what it looks like before you scan. As you can see, I already scanned when I downloaded this earlier today and I removed a 4.85 gig. So that was a lot um, and I do try to keep this pretty clean. You know, I go through the documents every once in a while and get rid of stuff so it's running uh, as quickly as it can. But uh, that 4.85 gig is stuff that I could not have gotten myself and I had already removed those languages, those extra languages. So. Uh, those were not. That's actually not from the languages. If you click scan, I'm not because it'll just waste a few minutes of our time. It'll pretty much just come in here and scan all of these different uh, areas for cache logs. Then you can come in there, select them, and select. Uh, you may not want to remove your iOS photo cache. Maybe you don't want to do that. So then you'd uncheck that. Your user cache files. Maybe you want to keep that. So you can come in here and specify uh, certain things that you do and do not want to remove. And then you have a couple things down here. Quick erase files if you want to get rid of stuff in a safe, secure way. Uninstall applications, kind of like App Zapper. I think I did do a review of that. This is going to do a better job of uninstalling an app than simply opening your applications folder and dragging it to the trash because that doesn't exactly do a good job. It just removes some of the files, uh, kind of like the commons file folder in Windows. If, uh, if anybody's familiar with that, I know I used to struggle on XP years ago with that. But that's a um, really comprehensive way of uninstalling stuff. Then you can manage some extensions here. There's some of my uh, stuff on the dashboard, I guess. Under preferences, we've got a, a pretty de decent menu here. You can come in and tell it what languages you want to keep and what you don't. I only have English selected. I only need that. By default, you can enable all this stuff or disable it, and then you can lock it. Uh, so if you had kids or something that you didn't want messing with it, you can lock all your preferences, similar to in the settings application in OS X. Under devices here, if you plug in a device, you can actually tell this application to go in there and keep those devices clean too, getting rid of the service managing files and stuff that, that they do not need on them. Under appearance, you can change your color theme between marble and titanium. Titanium is default. 
Advanced, you can tell it to play sounds, use a secure erase, which would take longer. And then you can enable a trash uh, monitor here. If you do not want your trash can, maybe you never empty it and you don't want it to get over a gig, set it to a gig, it'll automatically uh, delete it when you get to a gig. Personally, I delete it, I empty my trash every day, but you could go all the way up to 30 gigabytes. Privacy and updates, tell it to use the beta or tell it not to. Share your ignore list of applications that you may ignore so other people can be aware of that. And you can also share your system info too. Um, which, you know, when you check an update, just sends it back to the company so they can see what you're doing. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Clean My Mac seems to be a really good application to scan your Mac for crap and then remove it, which makes it quicker and, of course, uh, can open up some disk space. As you can see, I cleaned off uh, nearly 5 gig, and it probably will be 5 gig within the next few days. So that's my review. It's real easy. Scan down there at the bottom. You can pause it if you want. There's your lock setting. You can come in here and uh, unlock or unlock it. And then when you're ready to clean, just hit clean in the bottom right and, uh, and you're done. So that's Clean My Mac. I'd be sure to check it out from MacPod.com, I believe, slash Clean My Mac. I'll try to put a link down below on top. Uh, our website is techinform.us. My Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. And cool points for anybody that can tell me the car that has been on my desktop background for the last five minutes. With that, I'll talk to you guys on Friday. Hope you have an awesome day. Bye-bye.